This test method is used to determine the susceptibility of bituminous mixtures to fatigue or reflective cracking and measures the number of cycles to failure. The test procedure is described in detail in TextDot test method TEX 248F. First, cylindrical specimens are molded in a superpaved gyratory compactor. Once the cylindrical specimen has been compacted, it is then cut and trimmed to the specified size with a saw. Now, the final specimen is glued to the base plates. The base plates are secured to a mounting jig and the sample is fastened to the plates with epoxy. Wait eight hours for the epoxy to cure in order to provide sufficient bonding strength. To conduct the test, enter the required test information into the computerized test controller and place the specimen in the overlay tester. The base plates are secured with screws using a torque wrench. Wait for a minimum of one hour at 25 degrees Celsius before testing. The test is run until the maximum load measured at the beginning of the test is reduced 93% or more. The number of cycles to failure is reported at the end of the test. This test has been implemented in TxDOT and New Jersey DOT. Several other DOTs are also considering it for adoption.